group. So today I'm going to teach you how to use dry shampoo. So I hope you stay tuned. First off, I have two ways that I like to use dry shampoo. The first one is when I really need to wash my hair, like right now, it looks disgusting, and I'm in a hurry or I just got done at the gym and I have to go somewhere. Um, so that's number one, is to help it sort of look clean when it's not clean. Number two is volume. So if I want to do like a cute messy bun or I have a ponytail that I want to look really cute and a lot of volume, then I'll use dry shampoo and just put a little spray in it. So um, let's get started. There's two types of dry shampoo I like to use. Um, the first one is called, it's a brand called Batiste, and you can get this from stores like Ulta or Sephora. Um, and it's, it's really cool because it's really fragrant. They have different smells like cherry or, um, you know, just different, different smells like that. Um, this one's not cherry. This is kind of just a generic good smell. Um, but they have some for blonde hair, some for dark hair. This is one specifically for dark hair. Um, so it says a hint of color for darker deep brown hair. Brunettes shy away from dry shampoo because it sometimes will give you a white cast and kind of make your hair look gray. Um, and that's not fun. So this is a really good brand to try as well. Um, the, uh, my favorite is just Tresemme. That's the one that I go to. You can get it anywhere, Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, whatever. So this is just, this is my favorite. It's dry shampoo for oily sh slash straight to normal hair. So I know they have different types as well, but I just, I just grab one. So, and also they come in little travel sizes. So I know Batiste, um, Tresemme, Tons of different um, brands make dry shampoo and travel size. So let's get started. So first off, I'm just gonna do wherever I want my part to be. I try not to spray the top too much um, with dry shampoo. I'll just spray mainly the underneath part and we'll just use our Tresemme. Just give it a little spray. You wanna shake it and hold it about 12 inches away from your head. And then just give it a good spray. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Then put it back and let it kind of dry because you'll notice it will be a little bit damp. And then do the same thing. If you get it really close, that's when you're going to get a lot of white cast. So it's better to just kind of keep it a little further. And then I'm just going to do the crown of my head. And then I'm just going to shake it out and kind of let it dry. And then what you're going to want to do is just brush through it. That's the key to eliminating any white cast from dry shampoo is brushing through it. Then you can just style your hair like normal. So I have my curling iron. get started on my hair so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye hey Kenny hey what how do you eat what oh no you're right <laughs> what <laughs> that's not <laughs> what did you say I was trying to say a joke but that's not how it goes <laughs> who goes <laughs> what one bean said to the other bean how you mean? <laughs> How you mean?